Hello students, welcome to Solely Science. In today's video, we will see the most probable questions and answers of radioactivity. So by the end of this video, you will be able to answer all these questions based on radioactivity. Let's get started. The first question that can be thrown upon you is, what is radioactivity? Phenomenon of emission of certain radiations from radioactive elements and it was discovered by Becquerel. Next, mention the types of radioactivity. We have natural radioactivity and artificial radioactivity. What is the unit of radioactivity? It is again that Becquerel or you can say BQ. Define half-life. It is denoted by T with the subscript half and it is the time taken by radioactive element to reduce to half of its initial amount. The half-life is given by the formula T half to be equal to 0.693 upon lambda. What is the size of nucleus and what is the size of atom? So the size of the nucleus is of the order of 10 raised to minus 15 meters or 1 fermi and size of atom is of the order of 10 raised to minus 10 meters or 1 armstrong. What is the relation between radius of nucleus and atomic mass number of nucleus? So we have this relation that is R is directly proportional to A raised to 1 by 3. On removing the proportionality, the equation can be written as R is equal to R0 A raised to 1 by 3, where R0 has value 1.2 into 10 raised to minus 15 meters. Does density of nucleus varies from atom to atom? The answer is no. The density remains constant since it is independent of the atomic mass number and the value is approximately equal to 2.3 into 10 raised to 17 kg per meter cube. Name the three types of radioactive decay. We have alpha decay, beta decay and gamma decay. What happens in alpha and beta decay? In alpha decay, the alpha particles are released. Alpha particles are nothing but the helium atoms. So this is the representation of alpha decay. Next, in beta decay, beta particles will be released and beta particles are either electrons or positrons. And we have three types of beta decay, beta negative, beta positive and K capture which is also called as electron capture. So this is the representation of beta negative decay. And this is the representation of beta positive decay. And lastly, this is the representation of K capture process. Define gamma decay. In this process, an excited nucleus comes to ground state by emission of gamma photon. This is how gamma decay can be represented. What do you mean by nuclear fission? So this is very simple. In this case, a heavy nucleus will split up and produce two lighter nuclei. Next question can be, what is nuclear fusion? So, in case of nuclear fusion, you will have two lighter nuclei that will combine and form a heavy nucleus. Energy will be liberated in both the reactions. Define isotopes. So, these are atoms having same atomic number but different mass numbers. Or you can say atoms having same number of protons. You can remember this that by the P in isotopes that will be equal to the number of protons. Next, define isotones. Isotones are atoms having same number of neutrons but different number of protons or simply the atoms having same number of neutrons. Again, the N in isotones represent the same number of neutrons. Define isobars. Atoms having the same atomic mass number but different atomic number or simply atoms having the same atomic mass. Next question, what do you mean by mirror nuclei? So in this case, the number of protons of one nuclei will be equal to the number of neutrons in the other nuclei and vice versa. This can be given as Z1 equals to N2 and Z2 equal to N1. The examples of mirror nuclei is this. Give the equation for rate of radioactive decay. So the equation is A is equal to A0 e raised to minus lambda t. What is binding energy? So it is the energy required to break the nucleus into its individual nucleons and binding energy is given as the product of mass defect and C square. Atom of which element have the highest value of binding energy? So the answer is iron, Fe. 
what is pair production so whenever a high energy photon hits the nucleus a particle and antiparticle is created this is known as pair production next what is known as pair annihilation so it is the opposite of pair production and here a particle and antiparticle will collide and their mass will be converted into energy of two gamma photons at last you can be asked about nuclear force so it is the force which keeps the nucleons bounded into the nucleus and the properties of nuclear force are these are short range forces these are the strongest forces in the nature the nuclear forces are independent of the charge and the nuclear force is a non central force so these were some of the important questions and answers of radioactivity wish you all the very best for your exams thank you so much for watching till the end and don't forget to subscribe to solely science